Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell G7 157588 model and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can add, remove and upgrade your RAM for this laptop. I'll leave the link for the tools and the RAM, compatible RAM that we recommend on the video description in case you want to purchase yours. I made a short video how to check your maximum RAM capacity based on the reversions of the laptop that you have, what generation and what grade of the CPU that you have. They all take different type of the uh, RAM capacity. We have upgraded these laptops for our client to up to 32 gig with no problem, 216 gig. But if you want to, you can put a 16 gig and an 8 gig that you already have. You can mix, mix match them if you want to. But in order to have the dual channel capacity to up to 16 gig, we always recommend them to go evenly, to go with a 2.8 or go with 2.16s or go with 2.4s. And try to go with the pair ones, all right? And the BIOS will adjust its RAM speed to whatever max RAM capacity speed that it can handle automatically. So if you put a 3200 megahertz, it might lower it down to 266, because that's at its max capacity speed that it can handle on that gigabyte so you have a 16 gig maybe it can handle lower speed the more gigabytes of the ram you put on this laptop the lower the ram speed will go just remember by removing the ram and placing you don't have to do any more configuration it's pretty much plug and play so power off the laptop completely make this off then you want to flip it upside down down here we have one big service tower with one screw this screw has a little c lock on it so you cannot remove it entirely you just have to loosen it up and the c lock helps and to remove the separate the cover. So I'm gonna be using an iFix screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. So as you can see, you're gonna pay attention. As soon as I start rotating this, there will be a gap right here. So the C-lock will push the cover away and will create a tiny gap in there. So you can stick, once you hear that click sound here, you can do a few more and stop. Now you put your finger in there, in the middle, and bring it up so you can give this kind of curvature to the side. So you want to give this, bring it up and really hard, and you're going to hear this click sound. You're not breaking, you're just snapping those uh, clips loose on the side. So put the bottom cover to one side, and down here we can see the two RAMs. People always say, why don't you disconnect the battery? You do not need to disconnect the battery to do RAM upgrade. It's absolutely not necessary. I see so many people try to disconnect the battery and put it back in. They put it a little sideways and they create a short in there and they damage the motherboard. So don't do that. Leave the battery in as long as you don't drop the uh, screw beds in that specific places. And you don't need to work with the screwdriver anymore here. So with the hands, you're fine. You don't have to even to ground yourself as long as you power off the laptop. All right. So the RAMs are in here. To remove the RAMs, what you need to do is to push this trigger and these triggers away from each other. So let me see, do it this one. I can stick my finger there. I'll push that one a little bit. I'll push this one. Push that one a little bit. And the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle, just like this. Once the RAM is in 45 degree angle, don't yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna break it. You wanna slide it out in a 45 degree angle too, just like that. So there's one. The other one I'm gonna do with my fingers, just to stick my finger in there. and. I'm gonna do this one a little bit, there we go. It comes in 45 degree, I will slide it backward. So these are DDR4, this is an eight gig and eight gig DDR4, 266. But you can get a 16 gig, two 16 gigs, and you can put a two 16 gig in here. This is the right one, it's a dim one, so the slot number one is slot number two. Once you got the new RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim, right in there. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will simply not go through because the notches will not allow the RAM to go in. So if you want to rotate, doesn't matter the orientation, the sticker, anything like that. So you want to make sure the notch matches. You want to bring it down in 45. And you want to push it all the way inside the connector and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you want to hear triggers open and close softly and they stay, stay straight. Same thing in here. So bring it down in 45. Nope wrong orientation and then once it's in there drop it down and push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear that click sound now people always say i always tell people that once you put a new ram in you power on you have to wait up to 30 seconds for the motherboard to do a mem check 
but sometimes the motherboard won't start the mem check automatically. You can force for it, force that one by just powering it off and switch the RAM place. I put the old one in that one, the new one in the next on the first time, and then power on, and it will force the motherboard to do a mem check. So switching the RAM place, if it doesn't boot up, that's the first thing you should do. You do not need to put the back cover on to do a RAM check. So you can power on the laptop, put it on the side, and check if it's booting before you put in the cover. And to put the cover on, put the front end of the cover, front end of the laptop down, and push the corners down really hard. And you're going to hear those click sounds. That's what you want to hear. The back, you don't want to push. And then what you want to do, you just want to tighten up the screw, and the screw will pull the cover to itself. I'm going to power on so you guys can see that it does power on. So let's go ahead and power it on. And we're going to press F2 to go to the BIOS. So I don't have to load the Windows. There's a logo. F2. And I'm going to click on the system information. And then we have a 16 gig dual channel 8 and 8. All right. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.